So this is why the rabbit vibrators were invented. Hop, hop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Dutchie, and welcome to the third episode of Topics of Taboo, with today's topic of conversation being masturbation. Facts first myths, guys versus gals, and I'm so excited to get into it. If you are new here and this is the first video you've ever watched of me, then welcome to my channel. At the minute, I am doing a series called Topics of Taboo, where I talk all things taboo. Things that people go ooh and ah at, things that people don't really discuss, and I am discussing them for you. So, if you like the sound of that, then don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you don't miss a video, and if you miss the first two, I'll put a little playlist up here. They are juicy, you don't want to miss them. It's teaching time. Ah, masturbation. The facts are, it's not for everyone. But everyone does it, some people do it, some people don't. Some religions frown upon it, some do it anyway. Ah, it's totally up to you. Let's get one thing out of the way first. It's totally okay for both guys and girls to masturbate. There is such a double standard when it comes to masturbating. It is so widely accepted and known that males masturbate and they seem to do it all the time and people say that all the time but it's never a bad thing, it's just a fact and people are just stating it. They're not like, ew, guys are so gross, they masturbate all the time. It's just like, oh, he's probably fapping. Oh, look, he's... I don't know, do you know what I mean? It's promoted that guys masturbate all the time and that's fine, woof, go you guys. But whenever like it comes to girls, like it seems a little bit like, uh, like not like gross, but it just, I don't know, there's definitely a double standard there. All right, let's get into these myths and facts. First one, vibrators were created for self-pleasure. So this is actually a myth. Doctors used to pleasure women as a way to treat hysteria. Stop their hands from getting sore and so tired, the vibrator was created and they used that instead of their hands. A 2002 study revealed that 44% of women admitted to masturbating, averaging around 4.7 times a month. And that's the girls who admit to it. Obviously with the stigma and the double standards, there'd be a lot of women out there who wouldn't admit to it or wouldn't participate in the study, obviously. And now let's look at the results for the male study in 2002, where 98% of men said that they masturbate. On average, this was 12 times a month, so about three times a week. Hot tip, saliva being used as a lubricant can actually disrupt vaginal bacteria, which increases your risk of yeast infections. So girls, if you're going to use lube, don't use your saliva. Go out and get some lube from your local Coles, wherever. Women with high levels of testosterone are more likely to want to masturbate. And of course, that makes sense. If males masturbate more and seem to want to masturbate more, the more testosterone a woman has in her body, the more she's going to want to masturbate. Did you know in Japan it is illegal to manufacture a sex toy or a vibrator or a dildo that look like penises? This is why the rabbit vibrators were invented. Hop, hop. There are three types of female orgasm. Literal, vaginal, and combination. And I guess they're not a different type of orgasm but they are different ways of achieving an orgasm all right now let's talk about orgasms on average the male orgasm only lasts six seconds whereas for females the average orgasm lasts for 20 seconds Woo! you go girls and yeah that's totally true now when in a good mood, men tend to have a memory bias against masturbation. So they don't remember much of their prior wiener slinging. Masturbating can actually help to combat premature ejaculation. It's possible for men to orgasm before ejaculating. The ancient Egyptians believed that their god Atom masturbated his children into existence. Masturbation causes acne. This is a huge myth and I came across it a lot when doing research. It seemed to be on every single myth about masturbation i don't know why i suppose maybe i don't know i actually don't know but no Arr! masturbation is unnatural regardless of whether you do it or not it is not unnatural it is totally natural it's a personal preference you don't have to do it it's not a whole so it's not like a survival technique you don't have to some people do some people don't personally i mean i'm not saying i've never masturbated before but i don't really masturbate i don't it's not that I don't find pleasure from it, I just don't really do it a lot, um, and that's fine. It's not something that I'm that interested in. Other people do. Totally fine. Go you. You pleasure yourself. Good job. People still masturbate when they're in long-term relationships. <laughs> Shock horror. Everyone masturbates different amounts. Masturbating when girls are on their periods can actually help menstrual cramps. <laughs> Woohoo! So yeah, there are some hot tips for you guys on masturbation. Guys vs gals, facts vs myths. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a video on, like, specifically on male masturbation or female masturbation, then let me know and I can do one of those and be sort of more specific and go into more detail. Um, thought it was quite interesting, so yeah, that's why I did it. And I'm so sorry for throughout this whole video, my 
glasses they're like reflecting on the window in front i need that window for the light so sorry about that guys if it's a little bit annoying i am so 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 sorry i am off to the beach because it is a bloody perla today in geelong so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up share it around with your friends if you think it's interesting anyway thank you guys so much for watching this topic of taboo hope you enjoyed if you did then please feel free to give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying this series i'm nearly at 800 subscribers what the heck that is a dream and yeah i'm going to be uploading a vlog for you guys on wednesday i think i'm gonna go do some droning and some swimming now and I'll upload the next topic of taboo the fourth on Friday. Bye. Money.